Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a, an audience or a custom audience on Pinterest. So for any of you guys that don't know what that means, or I don't know why you clicked on this video, but if you need to learn how to install your Pinterest tag into your website before doing this, please see my other video that I recorded yesterday. Um, and that's showing you, that's the step that you have to do before you can actually go ahead and create your audience. But this video is if you've finished putting in, installing your Pinterest Pinterest tag into your website. Now you can actually create an audience. And what an audience actually is, is it's now, so when you want to go run Pinterest ads, you can use an audience that that Pinterest is has been collecting from the demographics of the people that are already going to your website. And you can now target people that either are the same exact people that are already going to your website, and maybe they're you know looking at products and not buying or adding to cart, or you can also use that audience to target people that look like the people that are already engaging with your website. So we're gonna build that audience right now. You're gonna wanna go to your Pinterest page. You come up here, you click ads. After you click ads, you're gonna go to audiences. And here we go. We are going to click this, create an audience, and we're gonna click visitors who went to your site. And I am going to I'm gonna name my what this audience all website visitors all website visitors and this is the tag that i'm going to be using it from um this is says from in the past i think we can put up to 180 days my pinterest account's not even 180 days old but if yours is older than that it's basically you want to be collecting the data since the day you started the day you installed the Pinterest tag into your website. So um, yeah, you wanna get all that data when you're running Pinterest ads because that will help optimize your ads better. Um, I would just try to put the most days that you can. Um, pretty much the day that you install the Pinterest tag, you also wanna start creating your audience. This audience isn't gonna be super beneficial in the beginning because there's no data, like there's nothing going on between my Pinterest and my Shopify as of right now, but hopefully in you know due time, it will you know season the pixel as we would call it on Facebook. So we're going to create this audience like this. And now it's just needs to start collecting data. And, you know, over time, it'll, this size will increase as I start driving more traffic from my Pinterest account to my Shopify account. And then after this size is relatively big, I can start using that data in my Pinterest ads to target people, like I said, that either are the people that have come to my website from Pinterest or people that look similar to the people that are interacting with my website from Pinterest. So that's it, that's all you do. I'm pretty sure you can create a couple different audiences. You can put visitors who went to your site, um, an engagement audience that engaged with pins from your confirmed domain. Um, so there's a couple of different on audiences that you can create. Um, an act-alike audience is one that's the one that you're going to create um, once this um, custom audience is seasoned. So you can't really make an audience, an act-alike audience that you want to call it until this um, is seasoned because there's no data. There's a zero people in it. So I can't, you know, go and make a look-alike or an act-alike audience of people that act like these people when there's no one in there yet, obviously. But with time, I will be able to make that audience. Um, let's just see if we can create another one. You can, oh, you can upload a list of customers. So you can upload a list of, like if you have an email list, you're gonna wanna export that as a CSV file from your MailChimp or your Klaviyo, wherever you host your emails, you're gonna wanna get those emails and you, you can make an act-alike audience um, off of that email list or you can also just target your email list and upload that list in there as well. Um, an engagement audience that engaged with pins from Firm domain. Okay, let's see what that one is. Um, so I guess we can just set this one up as well. Engage meant audience. Let's do the past 180 days. And then you can come in here and add a filter. 
Um, and you can get even more specific with if, what page they interacted with. If you want them to, if you want to track people that interacted with a specific collection or a specific product, you can do that as well. I'm not going to add any filters because I'm not really, I'm keeping it really broad as of right now, but I'm going to just create this one as well. Um, and just let that get seasoned. Again, in my initial Pinterest ads, I'm not going to be using this. I'm just going to be targeting cold audience because I don't have any data yet. I don't have a big list. I don't have anything yet. Um, but it's something good to have in place for when I do. Um, so yeah, again, if you guys had any questions, comment in the comment section. And if you got any value out of this video, please do subscribe because I'm going to be putting out videos like this, hopefully a few times a week. That's what I'm going for. So <laughs> all right, guys, I'll talk to you later.